What up everybody, it's your boy Coach Jay Vu, and I'm here with another edition of Q&A with Coach Jay. Hope everybody's doing well and getting through some of these stresses that a lot of us are going through with these food shortages and high gas prices and all the craziness that's going on. Today's Q&A question is, why do you think it's so hard for people to get an understanding of proper nutrition? Why do people have such a hard time with diet and nutrition? If I could break it down, I'd say it's because we're raised in a society that thrives on what I like to call a detrimental nutritional mindset. Right now you're probably saying, what the f does that mean? What the detrimental nutritional mindset means is, for the most part, our nutritional intake is not based on nutrition and well-being, but based on low cost, enhanced taste and convenience. In my opinion, with the way things are going, this is only going to get worse. But that's a different type of rant for a different day. Let's get into what I'm saying about this detrimental mindset a little bit deeper. Here's an example. How many times have you seen someone walking down the street with a bottle of soda and thought absolutely nothing of it? But if you saw that same someone walking down the street with a gallon of water, you'd be like, oh, that looks odd. So why is it okay for someone to be walking down the street drinking soda, something that has been proven over and over to be detrimental to their health, but the same people will be looked at as odd if they're doing the same thing with a large container of water? The sad fact is most people don't drink as much water as they need on a daily basis. Here's another example. How many of you get up in the morning and say, I don't have time or feel like breakfast, but you'll have your morning coffee or stop at your local Dunkin' Donuts or coffee shop for a coffee and possibly a donut or muffin. The coffee shop industry is a multi-billion dollar industry based around excessive amounts of caffeine, sugar, and processed foods. But for millions of people, this is a common, almost daily occurrence. Let's look at fast food restaurants. Fast food restaurants generate billions of dollars based on the fact that their foods are quick, easily accessible, and until recently pretty cheap. What most people don't understand is the long-term damage that is done to their bodies by this type of eating. Cheap, lower quality processed foods have been linked to health issues like diabetes, obesity, and some forms of cancer. Currently in America now, nearly 40% of Americans aged 20 and over are obese. 71.6% of adult Americans 20 and over are overweight, including obesity. Obesity is linked to several long-term health issues. Having excessive weight, especially obesity, diminishes almost every aspect of health, from reproductive and respiratory function to memory and mood. Obesity increases the risk of several deliberating and deadly diseases, including diabetes, heart disease, and some forms of cancer. This problem is only getting worse as people are struggling with growing food prices. A lot of people unfortunately turn less healthier cheaper options like even more processed foods. While obesity and lower quality foods are a big part of the problem, lack of nutritional knowledge is also a huge contributor. Due to lots of misinformation and marketing trends, most people have little to no understanding of how or what to eat to actually get themselves healthy. Due to misinformation, most people, nutritional knowledge goes something like this. They eat under calorie, they don't eat enough protein, they tend to avoid all carbs, they tend to eat too much of the wrong fats, they focus too much on scale weight and not overall health. Since most people aren't taught how to fix these things that have been generally misinterpreted as healthy information, they have little to no idea how to fix this problem. People then tend to look for quick, cheap fixes to their problem, and unfortunately, no major problem will ever be fixed cheaply and quickly without proper knowledge. Doing everything you need to get healthier without putting the main focus on your diet and nutrition is like fueling up your car and trying to drive with flat tires. The sad part is most people don't focus on their nutrition until they've become sick already or it's too late. What most people don't understand is a few simple changes can actually add years to their lives. A few basic things someone can do are eat higher quality foods. 
Take in more protein, eat more vegetables, drink more water. Cut down on caffeine, sugar, and alcohol intake. If you like what you saw here today, be sure to like and also subscribe to the channel. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, or on our website. This is your boy, Coach J. Rue, and I'll see you guys next time on Q&A with Coach J. Peace. Mark, 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 mark,